Hi friends, hi friends, hi friends. Happy two million hearts day. Oh my goodness, hello. I hope you guys are having an amazing week so far. Dr. Laura is here and Lindsay is here. Everyone is joining and Beth is here. Hello, hello everybody. And Bethany is here and Lindsay's here and Christy's here and Drew is here. It is a party. I love holding space for you. Megan is here and Colleen is here. Hello everybody. And Chantal is here and Olivia is here. Hello, hello. And Amy is here too. I love holding space for you every single week in the cloud. Let me know where you are watching from if you would like and I can give you a shout out. Hello, hello, hi mom. Hello, hello, Lindsay. And everybody is here, hello, Anne, hello, hello. And if you are new to my Periscope broadcasts, you hopefully are in for an essential treat. Oh, romper room, <laughs> your name. Yes, totally. Hello, Bethany, hello. <laughs> hello, Holly. And uh, my name is Hillary LeMay and I am your Throw It Out Thursday label reading gangster hostess and I am I'm an essential oil educator and global team leader and AromaTouch certified practitioner for doTERRA International. And every week since December 2015, we have met here to kick chemicals to the curb together. And this platform allows me to share my passion for doTERRA essential oils, my love for wellness living, and the freedom to create whatever and whenever we want together. So perhaps whoever brought you to doTERRA maybe isn't involved in oils anymore, maybe they're not as excited as you and I are. Hello, Helen. And so this is a great place for you to come and just be a part of this community and be a part of the dialogue. And you can comment and share your thoughts. And, um, and you know, if you have questions, you can chat those as well. And this is just a safe and comfortable place for you, a little cozy nook in the interwebs for you to come for continuing education, learning, support. And I hope after watching my broadcast that you will see that essential oils don't have to be intimidating. They are fun for the entire family, even the men. And Drew is my signature bro Tara, dude Tara. So shout out to you, Drew, because you're loyal to a fault. And I appreciate you being here every single week, but especially tonight, because I think you are gonna like this. And these recipes are super practical to use and they make amazing gifts. And since Father's Day is in two weeks, I like to give you guys plenty of time to prepare, grab your ingredients, get everything you need so that you can spoil the guys in your life. Life. Hello Annalise, hello, I'm so glad you joined and Sarah's here too. Hello Sarah and hi Bella if you are watching Sweetie Bear who loves frogs. Speaking of which, maybe during my scope if you listen closely you'll be able to hear some of my neighborhood frogs getting their little mosquitoes for the night at the buffet at Chateau Lemay, that rhymes. Hello, Bella. <laughs> and if you would like to share my broadcast with your friends or followers, I would love for you to do that. You can swipe to the right or up, depending on what kind of phone you have, and you can tap the screen down there as many times as you like, and that just gives me a little heart and lets me know that you are having a blast with me and learning too. And speaking of hearts, uh, we reached our two million hearts and when we did, I promised you guys a giveaway. So that's a huge milestone and that means that you all have been enjoying these Periscopes and tuning in and participating. And even if you're watching the replay, you can totally tap the screen and show me love and give me a little heart and let me know that you're enjoying this. And so um, I promised you a giveaway and I always deliver all my promises. So be sure to head to my Instagram at Hillary LeMay and comment with a favorite memory on my last post that you have about a man in your life by 10 p.m. Eastern tonight and then at 11 p.m. Eastern I will post the winner and the prize is a gorgeous black and gold essential oil travel bag that I purchased from the doTERRA swag store that is no longer available and this is gorgeous and inside it expands it has wires so it stands up on its own it's beautiful and huge look at this thing this is a beast and it holds rollers it has these beautiful little mesh pockets in there for you to hold your rollers and it compresses down like this and it has a zipper right here so I hope that you will enter the giveaway and even if you have this if you were able to get this from the swag store while it was available you can give it to a friend in your life but this is so beautiful and I can't wait to see who's gonna win this now also in there I'm giving away I'm giving you two of these really cool tins that I am going to be using tonight in my demo for the hair sculpting pomade and they're really beautiful and masculine you can use this for anything you like so I'm gonna give you two of these in the bag as well so thank you for being a friend thank you for being a loyal follower and participating each week in all the fun and the magic with me and creating this awesome safe community for everyone to enjoy and continue learning about how to use their essential oils so you're gonna get two of these beautiful tins and this awesome black and gold zipper bag for all of your oils to take those with you wherever you go so I cannot wait to see who's gonna win tonight and so 
as always, if you miss anything, you can catch up on my YouTube channel, you can catch up here on Periscope, and if you're joining us for the first time, you have a lot of catching up to do, but don't get overwhelmed, oil up, and stay the course. <laughs> and last week, doTERRA launched the limited edition men's trio, the Amave trio, and when I got my hands on them, the first thing I did was I thought of how uh, I wish that there were two extra items in there a hair sculpting pomade, <laughs> oh thank you so much, uh, a hair sculpting pomade and a beard oil or like a pre-shave oil. And um, since they are not in there, we manifest what we want, right? So tonight we're using a few of those simple essential oils from the Amave Touch Roller to infuse our sculpting hair pomade and our beard shave oil. So if you have a beard, you can use it for conditioning so you don't get beard drift and itchy beard. And if you uh, are clean shaven, you can use it to just get a deeper shave, a closer shave. And um, we're going to just up level our body care game for our husbands, our fathers, our sons, our uncles, our grandpas, anyone that prefers a more earthy aroma combo for their products. Now, of course, that applies to ladies too. If you want to use these, you're absolutely welcome to. I love the smell. I think they are romantic and sexy and really grounding and strong and spicy and aromatic. I think you're going to absolutely love them. So we're going to get our first demo going and put up a one in the comments as we do if you snagged one of the Father's Day Amave trios. So what we're going to do first is we are in the Lamazing Laboratory and we are going to get started with our DIY hair wax sculpting pomade. So we are going to get everything warming and melting and then we're going to chitty chat along the way. So I'm starting to see some ones going up which is great. That means you guys got your Father's Day kits and I truly hope that doTERRA makes these a permanent item um, and perhaps adds some items to the trio over time. I really, I feel like there are so many men in doTERRA now and um, essential oils are really becoming more of a household name, especially doTERRA. And I really think that that's the future of making sure that we are you know, providing products for everyone in the house as well as the ladies. So we're gonna warm up our beeswax pellets and then we're also going to, so this is 2.5 uh, teaspoons of beeswax pellets. Christy's saying she's ordering soon for her hubby, and Drew's saying she, he didn't yet, but he's going to get your max. Yes, I got four, and I got a few extra, so I want to make sure that I have these on hand for George in years to come. So we've added two and a half teaspoons of beeswax pellets to our double boiler. I just have a couple inches of water here, and then I've got a mason jar. You can use whatever you like. Um, what I like to do for things like this that I make a lot is I like to reuse the same mason jar so that you don't even have to wash it out unless you want to. You can make multiple batches of this over and over and you can just kind of have a mason jar designated for these kinds of projects. You know, a lot of times when we're making salves and creams and potions and waxes and things like that, we're using beeswax, shea butter, coconut oil. And so it's kind of nice to have some designated containers that, um, you know, can have a little bit of a beeswax, um, you know, kind of coating on the inside if you're okay with that. So it's just kind of a way to streamline some of your cleanup efforts um, because you want to start cleanup before any of the beeswax solidifies if you left any over. So then we're going to add 2.5 teaspoons of shea butter. And this is beautiful. It's a beautiful shea butter brick that I purchased on Amazon. You can get it from any health food store. Shea butter is really emollient and great for the skin. So I think you're going to really love that. And we're just going to continue uh, melting all these ingredients down and when we're there I will let you know and then we've got one tablespoon of fractionated coconut oil now the cool thing about this is just like anything this is choose your own adventure you can modify the uh, the measurements this is actually a recipe from the doTERRA blog so if you go to doTERRA.com um, and you you just do a keyword search for the blog or you just Google search doTERRA hair wax pomade or whatever I've just put my amazing spin I like to take a couple recipes and kind of compare them contrast them test them out see how they work for me and sort of modify as I go so I just encourage you to do the same thing as you are going through your oil journey and learning and just trying different things and so we've got this in our double boiler like I said we've got equal parts we've got two and a half teaspoons of beeswax pellets they melt down a lot faster than the bricks of beeswax I've learned my lesson and we've got two and a half teaspoons of shea butter and one tablespoon of fractionated coconut oil and we're just gonna wait one more minute until the shea butter is melted and we're gonna chit chat so uh, we are flexing our label reading gangster muscle like we do every single week and making our own hair wax sculpting pomade. Why? Well, George has very thick hair and he likes to keep it styled really nicely and tamed. 
Oh, Lindsay's saying she can't wait to get her blog book this Saturday. Yes, I know you're gonna love it so much. Um, actually, I don't think it's in that blog. I think it was from a couple blogs ago, but you're gonna, blog books ago, but you're gonna love that one still. And um, so, you know, the hair, wax, the hair wax sculpting pomade that he was using before had so many chemicals, I could barely pronounce them. Things like tribehenin, tridiesel stearate, sorbitol, hexcaprylate, uh, methylparaben, propyl parabens, and fragrance. And we don't want any of that. So we want our family using products that they can feel safe about, that they are not going to be affecting their endocrine system, and that's why we're just making our own. It's really fun. It's really simple. These are projects that you can do if you've, if you know, you've just kind of discovered my YouTube channel. If you've just gotten into oils, there are so many other amazing leaders out there on social media sharing and sharing their journey and sharing all their great DIYs and recipes. And when you share, I just feel so inspired. But this summer, maybe put it on your summer calendar with the kiddos to do some of these DIYs that you've been watching me do since 2015. It's really fun and I can't wait to see what you create in your kitchen and I hope you will tag me on Instagram or Facebook if you do. And so, um, you know, we don't want any of those things and so at the at the same kind of goes for the pre-shave and beard oil. If you've been following for a while, George and I did a dynamic duo broadcast back in 2016 and you can watch the full demo on YouTube to learn all of his tips and tricks on getting a nice smooth shave. And again, if you do have a beard, my brother has a beard, he loves the beard oil. He used to get really itchy beard dandruff like right down in his chin It would get really itchy and so ever since he started using the beard conditioner He does not have that issue anymore So I definitely encourage you for all the guys in your lives whether they're clean shaven or they have a beard Definitely you're gonna love this recipe in a bit. So um, tonight's demos, the sculpting wax and the beard oil are just two recipes that you can pair together with the Amave collection and um, it's going to be a really beautiful Father's Day gift if you need one. So, hey Jackie, hello and hello Melody. And so while our ingredients are just about continuing to melt down, we have another one more little minute on that shea butter. I'm going to turn this down. And, um, you know, I want to briefly go over the Amave line with you because it's, it's awesome and I think you're going to really love it. So um, for the ladies that enjoy the smell, you can use it yourself. Uh, Amave means I came, I saw, I loved, and how beautiful and perfectly apropos for Father's Day. Um, it's perfect for exemplifying the love and strength of a father or anyone who maybe plays a role as a father in your life. And you still have plenty of time to grab yours before they are gone, I hope. At least, you know, you might want to snag them soon. Um, but the first one is the Black Onyx African Shea Butter Soap, which comes like this. It's beautiful. I didn't want to take the one that George has already opened up in our bathroom, but it's a black bar soap. It's super beautiful and it lathers really nicely in the shower it also has rosemary and vitamin E oil and um, George has really been enjoying testing this out for me he loves being a <laughs> little test guinea pig for me and one amazing life hack that I wanted to share with you about um, the soap is you want to use what's called a soap saver and I've shown this before in several of my other videos and on my Instagram uh, posts about soap when we made our own soap you want to use a soap saver to make sure that the soap gets to dry all the way through between uses because that's gonna help keep your bar soap lasting as long as possible. And this is a really great bar soap. It's got um, balance essential oil in there and you really wanna make sure that you save that. So uh, a little uh, soap savers from Amazon. You can get these for just a few dollars. You can get them probably at your local health food stores. And I really think that you're gonna enjoy this for any soaps, especially if you're making your own soaps. These ingredients are high quality and you wanna make sure that they last. So the next is the aftershave lotion. This has Buddha wood and melaleuca, balsam fir, peppermint, and Litsia, and it's soothing and cooling for after shaving. Um, it can help reduce wrinkles, and then it also is going to hydrate the skin. And then last but not least is the Amave Touch Fortifying Blend Roller. And I just love this so much as well. Buddha wood, balsam fir, black pepper, hinoki, and patchouli with cocoa extract and in fractionated coconut oil. So it smells ridiculously delicious. It's rich, woody, it is earthy, and a little bit spicy. I think you're going to love this. Similar to how the Whisper Women's Blend smells, where it works to really combine with your natural fragrance. Um, I think you're going to really love that. So we are here. We have melted down and we're just going to get all of this out of our way. And um, the blend is so neat that it, it really calms the mind and helps soothe the skin. And the blend can be used to really uplift and focus your heart. So I think you're going to really love that blend and I hope that you will give it a try. And you'll have to tag me and... Ooh, there we go. 
<laughs> You'll have to tag me and let me know if you give it a try, what you think about it. I really love it. I think a lot of the men in your lives are going to love it too. Um, it's just something that you can keep on hand throughout the day to uplift and balance your mood. And then a little amazing life hack with this while we wait for our mixture for our hair sculpting pomade to just cool a little bit is the fact that because this is um, cut with fractionated coconut oil, you don't want to diffuse it or anything like that. But what you can do is you can make this into four or five additional rollers. So, you know, you can just make this last a really long time. And what you'll do is just put this equal parts into empty roller bottles. I like the ones from the root and petal. Um, I like the colored roller balls. And I think that that it makes it really fun to be able to keep track of what is what in your purse or in your bag or for your husband in his oil cabinet or whatever. And um, it'll just really stretch your money far, especially if the items go sold out kind of soon. Then, And if they don't ever come back, then you'll be able to have a little bit of extra mileage out of your cologne roller. So this is just a great option for cologne, for uplifting and balancing the mood. Um, and I'm really hoping that, like I said, doTERRA comes out with some additional items and makes this line permanent. You know, maybe even a, an Amave bath gel, just like the, the soothing, you know, bath gel that we have already with the bergamot and lime and all of that. I would love for an Amave bath gel um, and the pomade or hair products, anything like that. So, but we are melted down now. And so we've removed it from the heat. We've let it sit for a minute or two to cool down. And then what we're going to do is add our favorite essential oils. Now, um, beeswax and shea are pretty um, strong aromas. If you've ever used beeswax or shea before, they have their own kind of smell. And so we're going to use 20 drops. Since this is not pure essential oil, it's got the essential oil, but then it's got the fractionated coconut added into there. So we're going to pop the top off and then we are going to just use a small pipette and we are going to grab 20 drops of our Amave blend. And that way we will be able to infuse our pomade mixture with these beautiful essential oils, but you can absolutely, as always, choose your own adventure and you can add whatever oils we, whatever oils you want. Um, you can add rosemary or peppermint, which is what the doTERRA blog book shows. You can add cedarwood or cypress or sandalwood, anything that your man likes, you can do that. So what we're going to do is just take our little pipette and we're going to pipette 20 drops of our Amave blend into our mixture. Oh, thank you, Jackie. I love you. Hello, Lilia. Thank you for joining. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't even. Ah, it smells like just, it smells amazing. It smells like just man. It smells so good. I just, I, it's hard to even describe. It's got like this hint of spice, but like that little edge of something lighter too. Uh, it's, it's, it's awesome. I don't even know how to describe it. If anyone else has some colorful words they can use, it kind of renders me speechless. I think there are going to be a lot of Amave uh, babies born after this blend, maybe nine months from after this blend um, comes out. I'm just going to leave it at that because I know this is a kid-friendly channel, right? So we are all about family-friendly rated G around here, but um, I would not be surprised if doTERRA has a spike in the baby line up uh, sales nine months from now a sexy forest man yes okay a bit of balance very grounding yes whatever words you girls can share with me girls and guys do that because I am at a loss for words it just smells amazing it makes me blush when I smell it so there's your sign right there's your sign <laughs> okay so after we've let this cool down then we are gonna pour this mixture into some tubs now what I have is a plethora of options for you I'm gonna show you the first one so the two things that, um, the, the little tins that you're going to get, I got these on Amazon, but they look really cool. They're like black titanium stainless steel tins. And what you can do is just pour the mixture right on in. Okay. And then you just put the top on and you're going to let it solidify. So I'm going to put this to the side and then you can just fill up as many containers as you have. So I'm going to fill up this next one and we'll see how much we have. I dub I half the batch actually. The batch called for double this, but a little goes a long way and George has been testing it out for me and really a little goes a long way so you don't need a ton. This will probably last I don't even know how long or a really long time. So there you have your pomade and it's infused with our Amave blend and that's all you do. You just let it cool for about two hours or so, um, two to three hours. It, you know, it'll be, it'll be ready to use probably at the two to two and a half time mark, the two and a half minute mark. And so um, what you do when you're done, now you have a couple options. So what I did is I asked George when I was planning this recipe, I asked George, and actually I've been wanting to do this for a long time, so he already had one saved for me, but I wanted him to save for me the old sculpting wax 
container that he had. And so I washed it out, rinsed it out, and used it, and I have a huge batch in here. This is, this is a big batch. And so it's beautiful and glossy and just perfectly smooth, like butter, in here. And I just put a little label on it that says pomade wax. And then you can also, any extra you had, I actually had extra, so any extra you have, you can put in a little shallow mason jar, whatever you have lying around at home. A perfect option for this would be those body butter tubs and you could make a very large batch and it would last forever. And so you just dip your finger in a little bit and you warm it up in your hands. You just warm it up and that warms and kind of remelts the shea, uh, remelts the beeswax and kind of activates all that. And George is gonna kill me for showing you this, but we've been together for 18 years so I have his hair routine memorized. So you take a little bit of the sculpting pomade wax, okay? And then you, he, he kind of like has short sort of tapered hair. So he kind of like rakes it through his hair like this and then he like goes up and down the sides and then he like smooths it at the top like this and then like make sure that it's all smooth and there's like no flyaways. So you'll have to try that if your man has super short hair or if you have short hair that you like to kind of um, texturize the ends a little bit and kind of flip it out. But again, you just take a little bit into your uh, hands and warm it up into the palms or the fingertips and you just kind of rake it through your hair for the guys if they have a short hairstyle. Now if they want it slicked, of course, that's an option too. You can put it through your hair and then kind of comb and let your hair just sort of uh, stay in that hold. But when he tested this out for me, he was very impressed with the hold and he has very textured hair. So probably if he let his hair grow out, it wouldn't be curly, but it would be really um, like frizzy and sort of like that cottony kind of thick wiry hair. And so that's why he likes to use a sculpting wax because it's just enough hold. So it's not going to be hard, but it's going to be a little bit, it's just going to give you enough. Yeah, coarse. Exactly. Thank you, Lindsay. Um, it's, it's kind of coarse. So this gives you enough hold where there's no flyaways. So he just rakes it through and then kind of like zhuzhes it on the sides and like smooths it and then zhuzhes it again. It's, it's a whole thing. It's hilarious. And he laughs at me because I have memorized this. I'm like, it's just so cute to watch him do his hair. I just, I get a kick out of it. So anyway, you have lots of options. These little tins are super cool. Um, these are two ounce tins. So I made four ounces of pomade. And as you can actually already start to see, it's already solid. Look at that. Look at how glossy we just made that. Like literally we just made that. Um, yeah. And it's already solid, but you just, you want to give it another, you know, you want to give it the full two hours just so that it's, it's fully ready to go. But look, this is the one that we made second. And then this is the one we made first. Oh, Jackie's a stylist. Oh good. Okay. So you totally know what I'm talking about. He, the rake thing. It's like, it's, it's a, it's a whole thing. It's the man, the man stuff. And I love it. So again, we just made this and it's already waxed over. So you're just going to give it another hour and a half or whatever you want to do and let this sit wherever you can use whatever containers you have don't necessarily go out to Amazon and buy all these things you can just choose your own adventure use a mason jar use a Tupperware a, a glass Tupperware container use whatever you have hanging around at home and so um, the next one we're gonna do is our amazing Amave pre shave beard oil this is the amazing beard oil volume 2 because our original recipe is classic it'll never go out of style George has been loving it since 2014 his skin has never looked better he used to get ingrown hairs he used to get all these just different things going on in his skin and it has been amazing. Um, I'm not sure who that is. No, I don't use the sculpting wax. My hair is so curly that that would weigh it down a lot. I just use the hair glaze, uh, doTERRA's hair glaze. So I love the glaze. I find that it's really light and it's super humid so my curls are really tight today. Um, but I just, I love the glaze. It works really well for me. The glaze is not enough coverage and not enough hold for George though. So that's why this sculpting pomade is just absolutely perfect for him. And we were able to repurpose the container from his old chemical filled version and this is a backup one actually so this is a backup yeah I love the glaze the glaze is amazing thank you Jeannie blame the oils blame the vitamins that's what it's all about so next is our version two of our amazing beard oil so what we're gonna do is do this in this cool little stainless manly pump that I got on Amazon and um, I just think this is really cool this really makes it look up leveled just like you know it, it's a gift and anything made from the heart is more special because you made it, you put time and energy and, and effort and thought into it. And so um, I got this cool little beard oil label from EOS and I love all their things and they're super fun. Um, Okay, Fry, what oils do you put in the original recipe? Oh, so the original recipe is on YouTube, but we do Melaleuca, Cedarwood, and Sandalwood. Those three are George's favorites. We tried lots of other versions in smaller batches that he tested out for me, and the videos on there from, I think it was January 2016. So we'd been using the beard oil already for about a year and a half before 
we posted that um, demo together. So he goes into all the detail. It's on the Sharing Selling Helping page if you're on that group. Um, but I got this little beard oil label from EOS and I got the pump from Amazon and I just love this. It looks beautiful. It looks masculine and manly and earthy and together with the pomade, I think it's gonna be a really cool, kind of looks like a little tuxedo almost. Um, and with the Amave Trio, I think that's gonna be a beautiful Father's Day bundle if you want to um, perhaps give that as a gift. So what we are going to do, now this is an airless pump and I really like this. So we're gonna use the pump to fill our ingredients. And it's super simple. What we're gonna do is just grab our funnel and first we're gonna put in our oils and then we're gonna funnel in our carrier oils. This is very, very simple. I've actually been testing out my own Lamazing Skin Serum and I'm not ready to share it yet. I'm still fine tuning it and then testing it out, but I've made one for the ladies, but this is for the guys. So again, George's skin has never been better. He used to get ingrown hairs. He used to get a lot of razor burn because his beard grows in like three directions and it's very complex. And and so when you watch that video, you'll see how he uses the beard oil first. So he'll put it on, he'll put on some warm water on his skin, and then he'll put a few pumps of the beard oil on, this is the shave oil, and then he'll shave like he normally does, either lather up with a shaving soap or shaving lotion, whatever your husband or the men in your life use. And then afterward, their skin is so soft. So Jeannie's saying her husband's hair does the same thing and you can't wait to make this. Yes, I'm so excited for you, you're gonna love it. So what we're gonna do is add 10 drops from the Amave Roller into our uh, pump top, okay? So we're just gonna take our little mini pipette because we wanna conserve these oils. These are beautiful oils and they're limited edition. So we're gonna add 10, oil, 10 drops of Amave. All right, right into there. And then we're gonna add 10 drops of castor oil. So the castor oil is super, super thick and emollient and that is going to really protect the skin because when you shave your face or your legs or your underarms, you're removing a layer of skin as well and it's very irritating. And so you wanna make sure that you are doing as best as you can to protect your skin because your skin is your biggest organ. So we are adding 10 drops of castor oil. And I have a little funny thing to tell you about that. Oh, that was a little bit more than that. That's okay. So this bottle of castor oil, I have had since 2014 because you only use a little bit and it's, how far down is it? Right here. We've been making this beard oil since 2014 and this castor oil has lasted me a really long time. I should have written the name, I should have written the date on it. I, I'm obsessed with doing that. I don't know if you guys do that. I like to write the, the, the um, date on the bottom of the bottles and things like that, like with our big shampoos, just to see how the value lasts and lasts and lasts for a really long time. With my shampoo, my shampoo lasted nine months. This has lasted since 2014, almost four years, because you don't need a lot. A little goes a really long way. And what's even more cool about this recipe is that George used to have to shave every day because for his job, uh, he works in a very professional environment at the airport, and he has to be clean shaven. And he used to have to shave every day, but because of using this beard oil, he's able to get such a closer shave that he doesn't have to shave every day. So not only does that save him time, not only does that save us money from razor blades and all these things, but it is an amazing way to protect your skin from not being shaved, not you know irritating your skin every single day. So your guys are gonna love this and you're gonna have to have them try it. So then we're gonna add 10 drops of vitamin E. And vitamin E oil, again, is super moisturizing and super emollient for the skin. So we're gonna add 10 drops of vitamin E to our beard oil also. Bring this up closer so you guys can see. All right, there we go. So we've got 10 drops of Amave, 10 drops of castor oil, and 10 drops of vitamin E. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch up the carrier oils. Usually we use almond oil um, and fractionated coconut oil. This time we are using grape seed oil because I've been experimenting with it and I absolutely love it. And my esthetician, Erica, who is also one of my oilers, who does my neroli facials every month for me and keeps my skin glowing and just really healthy and everything like that in between, um, she uses grape seed oil in her neroli serum. So I have been really enjoying grape seed oil and you are going to love it too. So what we're going to do is just fill this halfway 50-50 with grapeseed and then fill it the rest of the way with fractionated coconut oil. Yes, grapeseed is so, so, so good for the skin and hopefully I'm not going to spill anything. So we're going to just fill this halfway up with grapeseed and then we're going to fill it the rest of the way with our fractionated coconut oil. And I'm going to just take the top off here like so. And yes, you're going to love it. And then I've got my handy dandy funnel. Here we are. All right. 
right? And you just want to make sure that you don't spill a drop. Ah, I spilled a drop of fractionated coconut oil, but we don't want to spill and overflow our beard oil. Okay, perfect. So what we do is now we just screw on the pump top like so. And wipe down the bottom if we need to. Screw that on and then you put on your lid and voila, and you just give this a little zhuzh to get the oils all combined. And you have this beautiful, gorgeous, swirly whirly beard oil for the men in your life that you love so much that exemplify strength and love and kindness and loyalty for you in everything that you do. I love this so very much. Like I said, our original blend had melaleuca and sandalwood and cedarwood and we used fractionated coconut oil and almond oil. You can use fractionated coconut oil all the way. You can use macadamia oil. We've done several of those too. We love to experiment and always switch it up. But in no time, we made our amazing up-leveled volume two beard oil that you can use for a pre-shave or a beard conditioner with our Amave touch roller, which is absolutely Oh my god, it's intoxicating. I just I'm obsessed with it. Like you guys seriously mark my words We're gonna put it in the virtual time capsule nine months from now. There are gonna be a lot of doTERRA babies I'm just saying so in no time. We've got our beard oil pre-shave oil. We've got our pomade hair wax It is all about the guys this week here on our periscope party and I hope you will try this I hope you will pair it with the beautiful Amave onyx soap and you can pair it with the aftershave lotion as well and the oil blend that is going to smell so amazing when you snuggle up to your sweetie every single day and every single night and lavender touch is free this month for one more week until next friday so don't forget to grab that if you are a loyalty rewards member a discount account holder you can get that free by the 15th as long as you place your order by then and then the fennel oil is the 10 percent off oil all month long and it matches my shirt so that's fun and um, fennel is 10% off all month long. So also be sure that you reach out if you want to purchase oils, if you want help setting up your wellness protocols, and um, you know if you want to talk about any of the starter kits or purchase any individual oils, I would love to be that support and educator for you, that mentor and guide for you along your way to just craft all of those protocols for you so you feel really comfortable with using your oils. And that's what this is all about. So many of you might not have anyone in your life who is supportive of the oils or who is educating you and supporting you and so I want to provide this education not only for my team but for all of you as well so that you can learn we are one big community it is so fun I just love sharing with you guys every single week um, you know if you were gritty and you joined doTERRA on your own without an enroller you just went and signed up on the website you don't have anyone that is designated to mentor and educate and support you so I would love to be that person if you want to be led by me reach out to me we can set up a little video chat to just talk about your goals and get you plugged into the team and give you that support that you deserve. I am so grateful for everyone. I cannot wait to see who wins the beautiful 2 million hearts giveaway, this beautiful black and gold bag that is no longer available any, any way, uh, anymore from doTERRA. And then two of these beautiful tins that you can make whatever you want, maybe a his and hers um, hair pomade or whatever you choose. But I am so grateful for all of your support and love and just being a part of this awesome community because it wouldn't be the same without you and your participation and your engagement and it is so fun. I have made so many lifelong friends from this community. doTERRA culture is like nothing else. I love being able to lift people up and watch you grow and you are inspiring to me each and every day. So I am so excited to continue sharing and we're going to get to 4 million hearts who knows when. Um, but I really appreciate all of you and giving me your time every Thursday night. It means so very much to me and if you're watching the replay, it means so much to me that that you care to do that as well. So I hope you learned something new. I hope you will check out the men's line. I hope you will give out, give the beard oil and pre-shave oil a try and maybe the pomade hair wax sculpting cream as well. And you'll have to tag me on Instagram or Facebook if you try these. You have plenty of time to craft these in more than enough time for Father's Day next weekend. So I will see you guys next, next Thursday for more in the cloud. And I hope you have a beautiful weekend.